Today guys we look at a new legendary to the game which arrived at the Muxis Heist DRC. It's a sniper rifle called the Auto Aim and well it kind of has an aimbot mechanic. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I'll be doing another BF3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So the legendary sniper, the auto aim, is a new legendary to the Muxis Heist TLC. This one is more or less a guaranteed drop from Freddy near the end of the story campaign. This guy is easily farmable as you, after you kill him, you can simply just fast travel back to the start of the area, run back to him, in which he will have respawned. And you can just keep doing this until you get that perfect roll. You can however drop elsewhere on the handsome jackpot. Freddy by the way is located within the VIP tower and the handsome jackpot so you know where to go if you want to farm this. Okay so this auto aim, the one new sniper this DLC is basically a weapon for folks out there that can't aim. This sniper literally tracks its targets. If your aim is a little off for instance, don't stress, this thing will close in on the closest target and hit their center point. For this reason alone I'm a little iffy on this, I mean as hitting crit shots are more or less impossible unless you are point blank face to face with an enemy or you use flak. I actually think this weapon was probably made for flak, this paired with his fadeaway and that class mod stack bot, I can confirm. It's pretty damn nasty. For all of the Vault Hunters though, it isn't that amazing, but it is far from a bad weapon. I feel this thing in actual fact purposely has had an increased body shot damage for the very reason that this thing targets 9 times out of 10 the body. It does make for a great long range weapon though, being very very easy to hit smaller targets while they are moving slightly out of your sights. This will track their asses. The weapon drops are from Corrosive, Incendiary and Shock. My favourite variants are the two you can see on the screen now. The Shock version and this Corrosive version which is anointed and actually pretty decent. These two are two of a certain number of variants this can drop under. My Shock version has lower damage but a bigger mag and the Corrosive version has more damage but a lower mag. This weapon can also swap between two firing modes, a single shot and a two burst. Both firing modes in full auto though. So this sniper, the auto aim is actually a great addition to snipers in this game and it's very very unique in what it offers. I definitely recommend you getting this and trying it out for yourselves and although it is ammo heavy it's very very powerful. One down point though it takes minimal effort to use, whether you see that as a good thing or a bad thing you make your own mind up. One thing about it is though, I believe this should be an atlas weapon, but that is just my opinion. I'm pretty sure most of you guys out there understand what I mean. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.